Welcome back, Greg Reichstraw, Michael Morrison with you on IHSAASports.org. We have had a little bit of a break in the action, our first substitutions of the night. Connor Skelly now in for the first time for Zionsville, entering for Homestead, Alex Moore. This is Mares on the touch for Zionsville. Leaves it for Corrado. Corrado tries to get it to the wing, cannot. Cleared away by Homestead. Magana takes it away. And now Harkenrider will advance it across the midfield strike. Harkenrider gets tripped. And this will be a foul. Homestead will get the free kick. No card, but a talking to from our head referee this evening. Let's take a look at the foul. Yep. Never played the ball. And our center referee has a very good control in this game so far. He's not letting anything chippy go through and, and just keeping it consistent. Abdu Ben Salah, our referee tonight. Our assistant referees, Roy Inglis and Jerry Caldwell. This header cleared by Zionsville. Jay Townsend knocks this one away. Mares sends it ahead to Pets. Pets gains possession, crosses up the field, and now Fuller will track it down for the Zionsville Eagles. He'll send ahead to Corrado. Corrado tries to find Mares, but just good team defensive work by Homestead. It was really kind of three on six almost for Zionsville. Yeah, I mean, that was great defensive work by Homestead, but I like that switch of, of the field by Pets. I mean, I was a, from the left side to the right side on the dime, 75 yards across, and it, well, that will open up the middle of the field for Zionsville. But Homestead, you know, they're packing eight, nine players back and behind the ball. It's going to be very hard for Zionsville to uh, get free up there. Gallmeyer sends it ahead. Harkenreiter could not control, but this will be chased down by Frankie Zarilli. And will this set up a corner kick? McMahon right foots this one. Header looking for the backside post. Harkenreiter's touch does not find the goal mouth, and it will be a goal kick by Max Knorr for Zionsville. But that's what Homestead's going to probably have to do. They're going to have to create some opportunities off of dead balls and restarts. That was a good corner kick and, and a, a decent header attempt there by Harkenreiter. This is Casey Yacht. Through left foots this one away. Nearly a turnover, but Pets able to steal it back from Homestead's Cord Magana. Now Ward. And this time the touch is Carter Mikesell, who has it for Zionsville. Ahead to Mayers. A little contact there. And Zionsville get the free kick. What are you seeing so far here, Michael? What's kind of what's kind of striking you from the first 15 minutes of this one? I still go back to Homestead's defense. It's like I said, they're keeping eight, nine players back behind the ball. Offensively, Zionsville needs to push two or three more players for it. I don't think Homestead has enough to really challenge him in their back because their back three or four defenders are very sound individually defensively. But I think they could push one of those outside defenders up up top, um, get a little more help so you can get in maybe eighth or ninth player in the offensive half. And Corrado sent that one and open for some traffic, but Hanford able to easily glove that one. Again, some contact. This time, no whistle. Play on, says our referee. And Homestead has possession. Hazen now with it down the right side. Looks ahead, sends it down the sideline. This is Magana back to Hazen. Hazen could not control, and Mares gets the takeaway for Zionsville. Well, Mike so. will send it ahead, right side Fuller. He doesn't give chase. Homestead will reorganize in the back here. Now they'll send it up to McMahon in the middle. Good footwork by McMahon to turn the play in a positive direction. Giving chase is Thomas Alt. Alt will track it down. Chased by Mike Sell. And now we're going to have a free kick coming up here, just short of the corner for the Homestead Spartans. Yep, this kind of tripped over Zionsville's foot. A little iffy call there. I'm not sure if, if Zionsville player um, put his foot out there to, to get the trip, but uh, he, he got the call. We do have a substitution awaiting. Here with our fourth referee tonight. And this is their second dead ball in about two minutes period. So this is another good opportunity for Homestead. Again, just short of a corner kick. McMahon sends it in. In traffic, knocked in goal. Homestead is on the board. Keegan Harkenreiter gets the tally for Homestead. It's 1-0 Spartans. Greg, I was about to say that was a uh, poor service by the Homestead player there, but that ball just skipped through, and Harkenreiter was in the right spot, at the right place at the right time. Harkenreiter came into today's action. 16 goals, 11 assists on the season. Harkenreiter. 
Quintini, it just looks like uh, maybe he was trying to play short ball in there to the, into, into the near post, but it just skipped through the Zionsville defenders and Harkenreiter was right there. Second goal of the day for Harkenreiter. He had one of the morning match as well. one nothing. Homestead is in front. And for those that maybe don't follow soccer on a regular basis, Mike, what does is, what is the early goal mean for the tenor of this game? Well, for Homestead, it, it, it really gives them a lot of confidence because Zionsville has dominated the possession of this game and Holmes has created two shots off of dead balls in the last two minutes. So when you're playing a defense game like Homestead is, and then if you can get a goal off the dead ball, your confidence is, hey, the coach has got us doing what we want to do. We're playing sound defense, and you know, we get our chances on, a, um, on, on our restarts. Now for Zionsville, I think Zionsville is still fine. What they just need to do is just keep possessing the ball, still push a couple more players forward, because this, by all means, Zionsville has too much firepower to keep this game as a, as a one nothing game. Corrado sends this one ahead, but it's tracked down by the Homestead defender. Harkin Ryder again looking for a touch. Can't control it. Ward now for Zionsville on possession and will send it across to Andrew Griebel for Zionsville. That deflects off of a Homestead defender. Pets a little juggling there and will earn the Zionsville throw in as that one is cleared away by Homestead's Tim Thomas. So again for Harkenreiter, that was his goal for Homestead. Now look ahead, Mares could not control. Got around the goalie but could not control possession. Cleared out by Homestead. And in the possession of the shots favoring Zinesville, but all that matters is the scoreboard. And that is 1-0 Homestead with 22 plus minutes left to go here in half number one. Look at the header. I don't think that was a full look for Sturgis there. No, it wasn't, but that was, once again, nice little build by Zionsville. They got the ball out wide and, and attacked the keeper with the cross. And that was deflected by a Homestead defender, so we'll see the second corner of the night for the Zionsville Eagles. Their first corner, they played it short. It was in the first, really, couple of possessions of the night's match. This one sent across. Again, looking for the backside header from Ward. Could not control. This will cross the sideline, and... Zions will turn over possession to Homestead. They'll quickly throw it in, looking ahead for Harkenreiter. Harkenreiter turns, maintains possession. And they'll say play on. And let's see, this will be a throw in for Homestead. So flicked ahead. No Spartans there to chase it down. Zions will clear it away. Fuller will send it back. McMahon tracks it down for Homestead. Great seeing the Zionsville students standing on the far side. Shot sent across, but a little too high for to do anything for Homestead. It'll be a goal kick for Norrin Zionsville. No, but that was a nice little sequence there by Homestead. McMahon's actually shown me a little bit today. I really haven't thought he had some in 1v1 skills, but he's taken on those Zionsville defenders. Instead of playing the safe drop ball, He's had some time and has been offensive out of it, and that, that occasion he started a nice offensive break there by Homestead. Homestead again, knocks away possession. McMahon on the touch, got it from Goldmeyer. Send it across to Hazen to organize in the back here for Homestead. Hazen's Hazen, pass he's, taken away. He's going to want that ball back because he was wide open, just, just made a, a simple mistake. You're but right, he, Michael, he wanted he, it back. He, he got, got it. it back. <laughs> Sends it ahead to Harkenrider. Harker Ryder now sends it in on the turn for Homestead. Knocked away from it is Alt. Alt turns, maintains possession, finds Hazen. Now back to Alt. He'll cross it up, chasing it down is Wendland. Griebel takes it away for Zionsville, sends it ahead. Free ball in the middle, Homestead with possession. McMahon with it now. His pass deflected. Zionsville has it in turns. Corrado. Corrado accelerates. Corrado sends it ahead. Hazen knocks it away. Good hustle by both Hazen and Harkenreiter. And once again, McMahon in the middle. We've said that repeatedly tonight for Homestead. Yeah, he's playing solid. The one thing that's happening right now, Homestead is picking up their way to play here a little bit, Greg. They, I think they're moving much faster to the ball, catching Zionsville on their heels. Yep, just came there a little... Little ticky tack, but you gotta call it. 